I'm with Michael Campbell, uh, recently returned for the fourth, fifth, sixth time yeah, for the I club. I think it's the fourth, I think fourth it's the fourth. <laughs> uh, decent performance today, Thank nice you. little hat trick. Thanks. How did you uh, see the game going? Um, I think we, had, we was in control from the start um, as a team. I think we performed really well today. We looked like a team, that's the main thing before anything. Um, on a personal note, I think um, I felt sharp, I felt on it, I felt, um, felt good. I think the confidence from the team really went through everyone. Okay, cool. I mean, you got us off to the perfect start. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's, it's what you do. You sort of capitalise on errors from the opposition. You're, yeah, that's you're in I mean. that right place. Yeah, you yeah, know where to go. So, that's, no, that's not meant to be a derogatory comment about you. It's meant to be that you, you sniff out the chance and yeah, you, you no, read what's going on. That's the kind of striker I'd say I am. Like, even today, if you look at all three of my goals, none of them were clear through balls to me. It was kind of just working to get into the space and trying to make something happen. And that's not a dig at the team because we've done some very good team goals today. But... You know, the kind of striker I am, I'm always going to be trying to look for any type of mistake or error from a defender and try and capitalise on it, and yeah. that's what I've done today, so I think right, he's working for the team. Um, it was an interesting one, because obviously, the first 20 minutes, we were 3-0 up, mm. but really, there'd not been a great deal in the game. No, We'd taken three not. chances, yeah, and not. they hadn't had anything. And I do think that is the difference uh, for us as a team. Um, we're taking our chances now. And, you know, even as a team, we have to take our chances because we know, you know, if you don't, we've got a squad as good as we have and you probably won't play the next game. So everyone's under that same type of pressure. Everyone's trying to put in their best performance and really credit to the management. They're getting, they're getting good performances out of all of us. Cool. Um, it's safe to say they got the penalty back yep. and it, the tails are up a little bit and you yeah, pretty yeah. much snuffed it out with that, your, third, your uh, second, second one, goal, yeah. our fourth one, which was... Obviously, the pick of the bunch for Jorgen's end. <laughs> yeah, no, that that for me that was a good finish. Um, I think, I th yeah, I think our, our, our uh, their tails were up after scoring that penalty. Um, whether it was meant to be a penalty or not, we won't talk about that. But um, I think as a team, that's where we're showing the difference. We're showing that you know we can even if we even if we uh, do our backs are against the wall, we're still showing that we can get through it. And I think that's the difference from what from past SCR teams. Yeah, to. I mean, you must having been around a few times, you yeah. must have noticed how different we are oh, there's a lot more resilience than yes yes ever you know I've, I've played with with us when we was down in the, the, the dog fights and stuff like that so on a personal note it's nice to be up there and in the fight do you know what i mean and you know i hope hopefully we can make it off over the final hurdle yeah i mean I, I guess the difference for you is when you're in the dog fight we're always sort of struggling to create any chances mm. whereas now you're probably feeling that there's going to be more chances yeah coming yeah your no, way. there's that natural confidence i think from everyone that you're going to get chances you know uh, in, in a couple of years ago, if one chance came and you missed it, you'd feel like, where's the next chance coming from? But now, I think because of the quality in the team, you know, DCS, he gets balls through all the time, he gets on it all the time. The quality in the team, you're always going to get another chance. And I'm the type of striker that feels like I'm going to get another chance anyway. So now to be in a team where you've definitely got the confidence it's going to come, you know, you can't, you can't really complain. No, that's perfect. Um, three people will ask. Obviously, you were, you were scoring goals in the Bostic South. Yeah. And you've decided to take a step down yeah. and come come to us, which obviously we're delighted with. Yeah. But can I ask what your your, your thought process behind that easy, was? Easy question. Darren's, you know, he's a good friend of mine as well. And I think, like we just touched on, um, I've been with Darren when he was in, in the dogfights and in the hard stages, and I've helped him through that, and he's helped me as a player. So when he's, you know, he gave me a call and he said, um, Mike, look, this is where we are. We're in this, you know, we're in this, we're in two semi-finals, we're in... Um, uh, promotion run how do you feel about coming to help us out and it was an easy it was an easy decision really because again I think that's more my loyalty to Darren kind of yeah. thing you know he's a, he's a good friend on top of a manager and he's helped me a lot so um, yeah I was scoring in the boss itself things did kind of fall down uh, break down between me and my last team won't okay. mention anything so that kind of, and Darren giving the call timing was kind of perfect as well so but before that Darren, you know, my relationship with Darren would have been the first thing that got me to sign. Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Michael. Yeah, and we look forward to more goals this season. Ah, definitely. <laughs>